Hello friends, today I want to show you the Wuxon KG805G handheld GMRS radio. The KG805G is a handheld GMRS radio. It is repeater capable, it outputs up to 5 watts, and it is fully FCC Part 95E type accepted and compliant for use on GMRS frequencies. And because it is a full GMRS repeater capable radio, you do need a GMRS license to transmit using this radio. Now first and most importantly, we need to talk about how to properly pronounce Wuxon. The W is silent and the X, as we all learned in elementary school, is pronounced SH. So the actual pronunciation is ocean, like ocean. So from here on out, I will be calling this the Ocean KG805G radio. Now this radio costs about $89. It is built specifically by spec for buy2wayradios.com. And that's the only place you can get it, either through directly through buy2wayradios.com, one of their distributors, or their store on Amazon. There are affiliate links below uh, directly to their Amazon store if you want to check it out. And full disclosure, buy2wayradios.com did send me this radio in exchange for my honest review. Now, because you can only get this radio directly from buy2wayradios.com or one of their distributors, that means you are getting support from them. They are located in the United States. So if you have any warranty issues or you need support, you'll be dealing with somebody in the United States and not somebody from overseas. Now, I know that you came here to learn about this radio and see what this radio can do, not to see some guy blab on and on about other stuff. So I'm gonna to try to keep this short and to the point. So let's go over what you're gonna get for your hard earned $89 if you buy the uh, KG805G GMRS radio. You will get a well-written, short and to the point operator's manual sheet. You will receive a charger. You will get a 120 volt plug that goes into the charger for charging. You can also get a USB type connector or 12 volt car connection to uh, charge it. You will also receive a nifty hand strap. It comes with a UHF antenna, specifically for GMRS bands, not a dual band antenna like what you get with a lot of other less expensive radios. You will get the rechargeable battery. You also get a belt clip, which I've already attached to mine. And of course you get the radio itself. The battery easily attaches a satisfying click and the antenna screws on just like any other radio. Before we talk about the radio, I want to point out this charger. This is one of the better quality chargers I've come across. I've owned several radios, GMRS radios and uh, inexpensive ham radios, and they all come with a charger and most of them are really cheap and flimsy. This one is still plastic, uh, but it is, it's more solid than most of them that I've seen. And if you look inside, it's got four of the little contacts inside, which means it has a temperature sensor. So it will not allow the battery to overheat when it's charging. And what that means is that your battery should last longer. It might also be safer as well. Now we don't normally buy radios for the charger, but that is nice that it's a better quality charger. You can see that it is a simple design. It's not loaded up with buttons like you see on a lot of other radios of this type. It's got an on-off switch and volume control. It's got a channel control, which you can also use to go through the menu options when you're programming it manually. The screen has multiple colors and those are programmable. You can choose what colors you want when you're transmitting and receiving. It's got a menu button, it's got channel up and down buttons, and then there is a exit button as well that you use when you're programming the radio. It's got some function buttons. It's got one on the top that by default is the alarm. Uh, there's one here on the side, which by default turns on the FM radio, and it has a monitor button so that you can bypass the squelch and uh, listen to uh, all the static on the air. These programs are programmable. You can choose what they do or don't do. For example, I've, I never use mine to listen to uh, FM radio. So I disabled the FM button on mine just because I'm never gonna listen to FM radio. Now the Chirp programming software that uh, a lot of us use to program our radios is not yet compatible 
with the KG805G. I've checked on the Chirp website. They are aware of this new model. It's a relatively new model radio. I think it's been out for about a year or less. They have it on their list. They will be adding support to Chirp soon so that you will be able to use the Chirp software to program the radio. In the meantime, Ocean has their own software, which you can download from buy2wayradios.com. It's very similar to Chirp. You can use that to program the radio. You will need a cable to connect the radio to your computer. That's the standard K-type cable. It costs about $20. It's the same cable that the most of the Baofeng radios and Kenwood radios use. So if you've already got one of those laying around, you can use that. I'll put an affiliate link down below for that cable as well. And one of the nice things about the Wosian KG805G is that it has super heterodyne circuitry inside. Now I'm not a radio propeller head, so I don't know everything exactly what that means, but I do know most of the inexpensive type radios, GMRS or ham radios, use an SOC, a, a system on a chip, a single radio on one chip. And that makes them cheaper and inexpensive, but the quality is not as good as a super heterodyne type receivers. So basically you're going to get better quality receiving, the sound is better, it's more sensitive on receiving, and it should also mean no spurious or less spurious RF output, which the ham guys are always complaining about. Now I've used this over the last few days and I've talked to several people, uh, both direct radio to radio and uh, through some of my local repeaters, and they've all commented on how well it sounds. It doesn't sound like a cheap little walkie-talkie radio. It has an IP55 rating, so that means it's not quite fully waterproof, but it is water resistant, uh, meaning if you're using it out in the rain, uh, it's not gonna be a problem. It's also fully dust resistant, so you can use it out uh, like we do, off-roading. There's a lot of dust usually when we're off-roading, so it's not gonna get inside there and cause problems. And this radio transmits at a maximum of five watts. There are some GMRS channels where you cannot legally transmit at five watts, and the radio knows what channels it is and is not allowed to transmit at high power on, and it automatically switches to low power on those channels. So you don't have to worry about manually switching power levels. The radio takes care of that for you. Now let's talk about range. So this is a UHF radio. It's transmitting five watts on most channels. And I've used it already around town a few times, and I've gotten five, six miles, uh, depending on where the other person was that I was talking to. The actual range that you're gonna get is with any radio really depends on the terrain that you're in. These radios are line of sight radios. So if you're talking to somebody and there's a mountain between you and them, even though it may be a half a mile away, it's not gonna work out too well. If you are 10 miles away and you can see that person or the line of sight of where that person is, you would easily be able to talk to them using one of these radios. Now, this radio is so easy to program. I didn't use the uh, programming software from Ocean. I was able to program it by hand to connect to a couple of our local repeaters. To go in to program a repeater, you only have to know what frequency or what GMRS channel that repeater uses and what the tone is, if any, for that repeater. So you just go to that channel, hit the menu button, go through and find your DCS or CTCS tone setting in the menus and enter it in. You select it from the list and that's it. It took me five minutes to program two repeaters manually through the keypad. It's really simple. So I did program a couple of repeaters. One is 17 or 18 miles away and the other one's 22 or 23 miles away. So let's see if we can connect to those. Channel mode two, three. You can hear the nice ocean lady. Uh, voice prompt. She sounds like a nice girl. So I'm going to connect to uh, the first repeater, which is about 17 miles away. I am going to use my GMRS call sign as I'm legally required to do, but I'm going to edit it out because you don't need to know my GMRS call sign. All right, so let's uh, hit this first repeater and see if we get a response back indicating that I'm able to hit that repeater 17 miles away. Anybody on frequency? You can give me a repeater check. And we heard that tone back, so hit that uh, first repeater, 17 miles away. So let's go to my other repeater. Two, five, two, four. And let's give that one a try. For anybody on frequency can uh, give me a repeater check. And that one also came back with a response. And I know that I can hit both of these repeaters because when I programmed them, I tested them and I've been talking on them for the last couple of days. So this radio easily hits both of those repeaters 17, 18, 20 miles away. And one of the other things I noticed about this radio after using it for a while and having used many other radios is that the push to talk button is really nice and easy and clicky. 
Uh, I've got a couple of other radios and they're not all quite as comfortable to actually use, as silly as that seems. So I, I really like that uh, clicky and easy to push, push to talk button. All right now on the box, it does say power output up to five watts. And on a lot of radios, the box will say power output up to X watts, but it doesn't output anywhere close to that. So we're gonna put it to the test. This is my handy dandy little mini power tester. I'm gonna put a link to this below in case you want one. And we will test the output. We've got a little five watt dummy load on top there. And what we found is that this radio puts out exactly what it claims to put out on the box. On the GMRS channels that are limited to low power, it puts out from 0.9 watts to about 1.1 watts. And on the high power channels, it outputs, according to my meter, 5.2 to 5.5 watts, exactly what it's supposed to do. So what you get with the Ocean KG805G GMRS radio is a easy to use, easy to program, simple interface, high quality GMRS radio that's got great range and sounds great, both in the audio that you can hear and receive and your transmitting audio. Now, every time we review a radio, we've reviewed a few radios, someone will always post, and of course they're always ham operators, I don't know why that is, but they'll always post a comment that, oh, that radio is not as good as my $600 Yesu or my $700 Kenwood. Well, yeah, Captain Obvious, I'd hope that this little $89 radio isn't as good as your $600 or $700 radio. Of course not. But what kind of moron would take a six dollars or $700 radio out hiking, running up and down the trails and doing the kind of stuff that we do? I actually use this radio. I use it out in the when we're off-roading and running up and down trails and so on. I don't keep it in a glass case in my basement. I actually use it. And because I actually use my radios, I know that there's a good chance that I'm going to drop it and break it. It's just a fact of life. And I can live with dropping and breaking an $89 radio. I wouldn't be able to live with myself quite as much if I dropped and broke a six or $700 radio. So yeah, it's not as good as a six or $700 radio, Mr. Ham Operator guys, but I don't think your six or $700 radio, which costs six or seven times more than this, works six or seven times better than this radio. So this is a great deal, great value, high quality, good range. And if I drop it and break it because I'm out actually using it on the trail, I'm not going to lose any sleep at night because it was only 89 bucks. Now, I've gotten pretty familiar with this radio. It's kind of my daily driver now. Uh, so if you have questions about this radio or programming it or anything, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you on the trail.